These next questions are potential test questions, so try them out first and then we'll go over the answers together. List all the possible quantum numbers. So we start with n and we know that n is 3 because of that. Right? Yes. Then we do L. And L is 2. Good. M sub L is, so M sub L is going to be like our variations, right? So the negative Correct. 2, okay. And then M sub S is just going to be plus or minus 1 half. Perfect. So N equals 4. Mm -hmm. L equals 1, M sub L equals 1. Do I still put like 0, 1? Yes. Okay. M S. Good. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I like just learned this when it finally makes sense. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Good. That's it. Good. 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 Here we go. I know. <laughs> this was just like confusing for my brain. I have to think backwards. Okay, so the first thing we do when we get this question is look at n equals 3. Good. Wait, what? We want to think, we want to first thing think about is this like 3s, 3p, 3d. Oh, do that whole thing. Okay, so we know it's three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I was like looking at the three down here and trying to make something of that, but no. Okay. Um, so three, and then we know that our L is equal to zero, so it's S. Okay, I remember now. Is that possible? Yes. Yes. So, okay, perfect. That's done. After that, after we see that, okay, that's valid. Then I'm going to look at the m sub l and see if that's possible. So, yeah, because if it's um, 1, then we're going to have negative 1, 0, 1. Yes, but what, it, what is our l value in this case? Oh, it is 0. <laughs> I was looking at that thinking that was the 1. <laughs> okay, never mind. But it still would work. <laughs> Just not that explanation. <laughs> okay, so we know A is out because that one's valid. That one's correct. So now moving on to B. So B is N equals 2. So we do 2. And L equals 1, which is P. Good. And 2P is possible. Good. Um, negative 1 is why do i keep getting confused with that one <laughs> i don't know <laughs> remember m sub l we're looking at the like whatever the l value is it's dependent on what the l value is because we're going from the negative l value all the numbers in between and then to the positive l value oh so this is possible then because it's one so it's going to be yeah. negative one zero one yes yeah. okay right. so that's not it Right. So we can X the is. Okay. Let's do this one. So one S. One S is possible. Mm -hmm. And it's this is um this is possible because it's zero. So perfect. So perfect. That's you already cool. know what it is, but yeah. do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So n equals four. 
4p. 4p is is 4p not yeah 4p is possible right okay so um um oh it, well that's why okay <laughs> because it would be um negative one zero one so there's no negative two exactly that's the reason okay, okay. okay. so that's it and the next one okay this one's a little bit different so all of these are wrong but you have to explain why <laughs> they're wrong <laughs> okay <laughs> um so do i do the same process though like i'm writing and i'm exactly okay exactly so two f oh well there you go there you go it's not possible <laughs> yeah because okay. of that because the only thing we can have is 4f or 5f right okay so that's not possible um so now we have two l is one so p um so for this one it's one so it'd be negative one zero one so we don't have a negative two. Exactly. Okay. The M sub L. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one. There's no, there's no one P. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's no one P. So that's three. <laughs> this is really playing with me right now because I like <laughs> just started to build up my confidence with that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but th that's why we're covering this because these are trick questions. And yeah. this is what typically gets students on exams for quantum numbers. They think they get everything and then they get a question like this. So I'd say this is a good... And then you're like, oh, there's a 1P. I didn't learn that. Right, right. You doubt yourself. But no, there is no 1P. Okay, perfect. Did you get all the questions right? Let me know in the comments. And if you missed one, then I recommend going back and re-watching certain parts of the video. Because you know what? It's okay if you did. This is completely new and I know that you will succeed. You will understand this. It just takes a little bit of practice.